Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in the previous lecture, we had seen about the paste commands and all. So now we'll try to see one more command. For example, let us consider this. The first two rows, what you can see, the color is red in color, right? Now let us say, I want to make even this as red in color, whatever color we have. Let us say I'll make one format also. I'll select this and I'll give a different format to this. Okay. I'll keep it something like this. So now I want to do the same thing. So one option what we had is uh, what we can do. We again select this thing. You come here, you select here, you can change that color. That is a one option what you can do, right? The second option is again, you can select here, say control C, go to alt S like I'll, I'll select this control C. Then I'll select here. I'll say alt S. Okay. Yeah, I'll do this alt S. The moment I do this all TS, then I can go and say, uh, select only the format and I'll say, okay. So this format will be selected. So this is little long. So instead of doing all these things, the simple way, what we can do is you select this and, and this option called as format painter. What is that? This option is called as format painter. Select on that and you just drag it like this finish. So it's very easy, right? Compared to your previous case, this is very easy. So what I did, uh, what I did, I'll repeat it once again. So I want to copy the font, whatever I have, that is red color. I, it should come here. Okay. I'll change the font as well. Instead of this font, I'll go with a different font. Okay. Yeah. So I'll keep this font now. Now let me do all these things. I want all, everything to come in red color. I want the background to be this particular color and whatever font we have, the same should come here. Okay. Or let us say I'll change the alignment. I'm not sure. Let me check with the alignment as well. Okay. I'll keep the alignment like this I'll keep this alignment like this. Let me try to do that now. So I'll select this. Okay. And I'll go to the format painter option. Then I'll, you can see this is activated. You can see a brush, which is next to my cursor. And now I'll drag it like this. That's it. Yeah. So the magic of this is what is that first change? What happened? Everything, the background got a different color. I mean, whatever color was here, the background got the same color. Everything was red in color. This also became red in color. The third change is what happened is you see this font earlier. My font was different, right? Now the font, whatever font I had used it here, the same font that is Pascal Ville old face, the same font has come. Next is about the alignment before applying this uh, format painter, this particular cell 50 was somewhere on the right side, 40 was on the left side. Now what happened? Everything has come in the same order. So this is the important tool. Instead of going to this all TS and all, you can make use of this format painter and through that we can try to do that. Okay. Similarly, if you want, I can do it. Same thing here. This contractor railway project, what we have. Let me, yeah. Okay. Let me do one small change here. Another example. This railway project and building project, I'll give a different font. Let me make it something different. Okay. I'll, yeah. I'll give, yeah. I'll give a font like this railway project and building project. I want the same same thing to come here. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll select both of them. I'll say format painter and I'll select it here. Finish. Can you see that changes now? Whatever font I'd used there earlier, the same font has come here. Okay. Same font has come here. The same font is here. So this is the importance of the format painter. Yeah. Now, apart from this, whatever Excel sheet I'm creating, all these things are creating all these things I'm creating on my own. But if you go to the Excel, it has some inbuilt functions. I, I'll go to the file option. And you can see here a lot of uh, inbuilt. You can see the new option. You can see our formula tutorial, drop down tutorial, home construction budget, organization chart for data. I'll just click on this. Okay. So by default, it, you double click on that. It will load. Okay. And then you click on this create. So by default, what will happen? You know, in the Excel, by default, those charts will open up. You see here, it's getting started, understanding diagram. Thing your data visualize okay okay so wait let me go with a different one organization blank chart yeah daily work schedule i click on this i'll say on this so now you can see by default excel has some inbuilt functions excel has all this inbuilt uh, uh, slides with that so with the help of this you can uh, take a printout or you can you know uh, try to uh, uh, do your daily uh, planner here. So you can see here everything is done. Event scheduler, you can see whatever event you want to make, like time, whatever date you have, okay, whatever time you have, everything you can 
uh, write it here. So if I try to create all these things, it will take long time for me. So rather than that, what I can do is I can make use of this inbuilt function from the Excel and I can use it accordingly. So again, you can see all the time interval here. Daily schedule is there. So you can just write whatever you are supposed to do at six o'clock and all. Okay. So just write here, come and write what you're supposed to do. You can write here what you're supposed to do. So you can write all these things automatically. So that is how it works out. Okay. So these are certain uh, inbuilt functions. Not only this, you can go to the file option. So there's option called as more templates. So click on this more templates. Okay. So click on more templates. I clicked on it. And now you can see here, all the templates are coming up. Premium weekly, household monthly budget, basic business invoice, loan calculator. So a Gantt project planner. So all these things, whatever you want, to, you can click here uh, and you can make use of all these uh, things. Similarly, see whatever I open now, again, you want something related to this thing like Personal, if you want, you click on personal, then another searching thousands of online uh, templates. So you can see a uh, good templates, which is coming up here, right? So again, if you want a different, uh, different one, suppose if you don't want the personal one, I'll go back. I want uh, something like planners and trackers. I'll click on this planners and trackers. So again, you can see you can, you have a credit card tracker, job candidates tracker, group trip planner. Then uh, party planner and checklist. Let me click on this and let me say create. Okay. And you can see party planner has come up. So you can plan whatever you want to do. Okay. It's very good, right? Because if I try to cal if I try to do all these things now, it will take long time for me. So that is why what we can do is we can make use of uh, in uh, inbuilt templates and we can use it whatever is required for us. So this is the second option what we have. Now the third thing what we have is about a uh, a uh, customized toolbar. Now you can see a name Akshay Kamath here, but you people don't have it on your screen. So how do you create this? So if you want to create this, you have to go to the file option. So in the file, there's option called as options. In the file, there's option called as options. You click on these options. So when you click on this option, here you have one option called as quick access toolbar. So click on this quick access toolbar. Okay. And now here, yeah, not quick access. You can go to the customize ribbon. Okay, there's option called as customize ribbon. Click on that. So here, whatever ribbons we can see, you know, home, insert, page layout. Everything is seen here. Home, insert, page layout, formula. Everything is brought from here only. Now I'll create one. I have written Akshay Kamath. I'll give a different name. So I'll say new tab. Okay, so a new tab has opened up. I'll just I'll, I'll just right click on that. I'll say rename. And I'll give a name. Uh, I'll write uh, Akshay Excel shortcut. Okay, you can give your name. I've written Akshay Excel shortcut and I'll say OK to this. So under this, I'll say new group. And now in that, I'll click on this. Okay, this one let, this is not required for me. I'll delete this. Yeah, okay. So here what I'll do now. Yeah, so Akshay Excel shortcut what I put. Okay, I'll click on this. I'll say new group. And in a new group, I'll right click. If you want, you can give a name. Else you can click click here, double click here. And now, see in my, in my uh, screen, this add option is being shown. In your screen, this option is not being shown. Only the remove option might be showing. So you just click on the new group. And now you come here and you go for all these things. Either you want the popular command, or you can go with all commands. So the moment you change here, you know, one button will pop up. So what we can do, click here and go for this popular command. And now you select anything from here. What all things you need to add. So for example, uh, this is something where I regularly use any tools uh, for my Excel. For example, I want this font color. I'll click on this, I'll say add to that. Okay, uh, let us say font size I regularly use. So I'll say add to that. Format cells I want, I'll add to that. Format painter, I want, I'll say add to that. Then what else I require? Uh, the, you need to add few things which you regularly use. Okay. Other than that, let us say copy command, I want, I'll say add to that. Border command, I want, I'll say add to that. 
I'll say uh, other than that, uh, let me go with all commands. If you want all commands, come here, click on all commands. Okay, so all commands will come up. So now let us say I want some this. Uh, okay, I want this uh, below average. I'll say add. Okay, so in Akshay Kamat uh, ribbon, I have all these tools where I'm going to use them frequently. Now I'll say okay to this. And now if you see here, no, a new uh, Excel. You can see here Akshay, Akshay Excel shortcut has opened up. I'll click on this and whatever tool I had put over there, right? The font color, font size, format cell, pay a format painter, copy, border, below average, everything is coming up. So in your uh, screen, the chances is that my Akshay Excel shortcut is showing on the second option. In your screen, this option may be on the right side. Then how do you bring it to the second option? In that case, what you do, you again right click here, wherever it is, go to this customize the ribbon okay and now you click where Akshay Kamath so my Akshay Kamath is here no so here you can click and you can take it to the top so it has gone to the top if you don't want it at the top you want it at the bottom okay like you see this Akshay Kamath is here I'll take it to the top okay let me take it to the top okay so this Akshay Kamath custom is on the top Akshay Excel sheet is second number so wherever you want you can try to play with them with this uh, up and down button and now I'll say okay. So what should happen here? Akshay Kamath should be in the first and Akshay Excel shortcut to, uh, should be after Akshay Kamath, right? I'll say okay now and I'll say fine. You can see now Akshay Kamath is here and Akshay Excel shortcut is here. So this is the importance of this uh, command. But again, uh, it's not that much important because whatever we have in the home, home screen, whatever we have that is sufficient for us. Just in case uh, when you're frequently using and you don't want to see all this because see, whatever commands we have here, we don't use it all the time, right? Now, for example, in this, I hardly go with this uh, font change option and this bold option. Underline and italical I hardly use in my work. So I don't require them. So in that case, and some, uh, some somewhere here, if you go to the this thing, home option, insert option, I don't use all these things. So rather than uh, every time coming to the insert and picking one option, coming to the page layout and picking this option, you can create your own set of uh, tools or you can create your own set of uh, options where you, the moment you come to Akshay Kamat, whatever you require in your project, only those things will be pop up here. Otherwise, you don't have to go to insert, page layout, formulas, data. Rather than doing all these things and wasting your time, try to create your own uh, ribbon. Under that, whichever command you frequently use, you can add it. So try to practice this, try to do this so that in future, whenever you require, you can make use of it. Right? So we understood about the, this command that is a paint uh, format painter. We understood about creating the uh, dashboard that is a different dashboards. You can see your party budget, what is the total. So all these things by default you get from the Excel, you can make use of it. And then we understood to create our own dashboard. So try to practice up to here. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.